In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon his last and beloved Messenger Muhammad, and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you all. The title of this video is Why Islam is the only true religion. Now, I will show in this video, Allah God willing, how to prove from a logical and scientific point of view that Islam is the only true and correct religion on the face of this earth, which means that Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, they are all incorrect and they are all false. And that, that they, all of them, they are not acceptable in the sight of Allah God Almighty. Now, the title of this video comes from a uh, Quranic verse, which is verse number 85 of chapter 3 of the Quran, which reads, the translation is the following, And whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him, and in the hereafter he will be one of the losers. The verse once again, And whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him, and in the hereafter he will be one of the losers. So here Allah Almighty is teaching us quite clearly that the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. And as I said, this means that Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, they're all unacceptable in the sight of Allah God Almighty. Now the question arises as to why. Why? What is the reason for this? Now the best book and the only book to find the correct answer for this question as to why Islam is the only true religion and why is the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is the Quran. The book that gives you the answer quite clearly is the Quran. And you will see that the Quran is a self-sufficient book. You only need to put upon the Quran. You don't need any other book. So if we look at and ponder upon verses 7 and 8 of chapter 99 of the Quran, which reads, So who... Whosoever does good equal to the weight of an atom shall see it, and whosoever does evil equal to the weight of an atom shall see it. Now we learn from this verse that in Islam, the concept of personal accountability. So the key to answer this question as to why Islam is the only true religion is to look at the concept of self-accountability and personal accountability for your deeds. So Allah in the Quran tells us that if a person does a good deed, even if it's small, very small deed, he will see the reward of it. On the other hand, if he does an evil deed, even if it's very small, he will be punished for it. So in Islam, there is the, the concept of personal accountability for your deeds and that you are responsible for your actions. It's very clear and this is the basis for the true religion. The religion which is correct is the religion that has this concept well established. And Islam is the only religion that, that has this concept in its true and pure form. So, and as I, if I tell you that one third of the Quran speaks about the Day of Judgment, and the basic thing and the most important thing about Day of Judgment for a person is that he will be judged for his actions. Now, the benefits for, from this concept is that if you, if a person believes that every deed he will be judged for it, this will produce a shield, and this will be kind of uh, um, produce in him kind of a deterrent from doing bad and evil deeds, because if you believe that you are responsible for your actions, you will weigh your actions and you will try to. Um, and drive your actions in the right way. So this is a kind of a, a practical application of this concept in Islam. And that's why we see in Islamic kind of uh, societies, the percentage of crime is far less from other societies. So once again, the basis for the true religion is personal accountability. That in Islam is the only religion that has this kind of concept well established. That if you do a good deed, you will be you will be rewarded for it, and if you do a bad deed, you will be punished for it. And as I said, this yields um, in a person and produces in a person kind of um, um, a shield for him, for him from doing bad and evil deeds. 
So this is about Islam. Now coming to other religions like Christianity, Judaism and Hinduism. If we look at this concept in Christianity, we see that this concept is invalid, it's not correct. Because one of the main pillars of Christianity is the belief that the person believes that if he believes in Jesus as God or a son, or a, or a son of God, then he will be forgiven and we, he will enter paradise. So this means, practically, that even if a Christian, he kills a person, if he commits um, horrible crimes, adultery, everything, but he believes that Jesus is God or a son of God, he has a ticket to heaven. So if you look at it objectively, the concept of personal accountability is lost. There is no such concept in Christianity. Now, theoretically, people might say, no, it's there and so forth, but practically, a Christian believes, and that's the reason why so many Christians, they love Jesus. They don't love him because they know him so much, because he gives them a direct ticket to heaven. And that's, of course, illogical. It's not true. Every person is accountable for his own deeds. No one will pay for your sins. So, as I said, this, we see that this concept is incorrect in Christianity, and thus, in, uh, Christianity is not a true religion. Now, coming to Judaism. Now, the, in Judaism, the majority of the Jews, they believe that they are superior to everybody else. And so, if they uh, hurt people, if they... Um, steal from people, then they believe that God will not judge them because they are the superior people and as thus they can do no wrong. And so we see that in Judaism the concept of personal accountability is, not, is lost as well. And this makes Judaism not a true religion. Now coming to Hinduism, again the concept of personal accountability is lost in Hinduism because the Hindu the majority of Hindus, they believe in something called reincarnation, which means that if a person dies, it's not the end, he can re be reborn on this earth. Now, if he does good in this life, he will be reborn in a higher um, being, and if he does bad on this earth, he will be reborn in a lower being. So he can be reborn a million times. So it's... It, so as, as they believe that this life is not the end, it's, it's the first chance, you get a second chance, a third chance, fourth chance, and as such, the concept of personal accountability is lost again. So this makes again Hinduism not true. So to summarize that the, the basis of the true religion is the correct, is, is, the, is the concept of personal accountability to be correct. And the only religion on the face of the earth which has this concept in a pure form, in a valid form, in a practical way, is Islam. Which makes Islam the only true religion. And this explains why it's the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah God Almighty. Because one of the main functions of any religion is to organize the life of people and make it better. And when a person knows that he'll be judged for every action he makes, this will shield him and will be like a deterrent for him for doing bad things, will make the society better. But if this concept is lost, then the religion that teaches such false concepts is not a true religion. And this doesn't apply only for Hinduism and Judaism and Christianity. Take any other religion other than Islam, you will see that the concept of personal accountability is not there. It's distorted, it is uh, uh, in a kind of, it's, it's, uh, it's incorrect. And I'm saying this not to hurt anybody, but in hopefully that this video, that people will be guided to the path of Allah God Almighty and will see the beauty of Islam and will see that Islam is the only true religion and the only way to get closer to Allah Almighty and to enter heaven. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zqur'an.com and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all.